Hello and welcome to a new video on this channel. Since my last videos didn't perform as well as I hoped, I wanted to try something different and reach a bigger audience. That's why this video is in English. So, what's the topic of today? Beta Flight 4.6 is dead. So, take a moment to mourn. But don't worry, Betaflight itself is alive and well. But the way the versions are named has completely changed. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Today I break down why the developers did this and how the new system works and what it meant to us pilots. And trust me, it's easier to understand than it sounds. Up until now, we had versions like 4.3, 4.4, 4.5, 4.6 and the versions before. But honestly, who really knew what those numbers meant? Was or is 4.6 a huge upgrade or just a minor fix? A lot of pilots stayed or stayed on whatever version worked for them. And guess what? Most of the time, this is completely fine and you are right about that. There's no problem at all keeping the version your quad was shipped with. Manufacturers like Beta FPV, GAPRC, SpeedyB, they tested and adopted that firmware before shipping. So, if it flies fine, there's no real reason to upgrade. Now, don't get me wrong, upgrading can be fun and sometimes it's useful because of the new features. But if you are happy with your quad and it flies well, there's really no reason to upgrade at all. Unless you want to try a new feature like position hold, auto land or the latest filter improvements. In other words, if it's not broken, don't fix it. Unless you're the kind of pilot who likes to experiment with new toys. This whole thing reminds me of Audi. Back in the day an Audi A6 for example had a little badge on the rear of the car where which was stated 3.0 TDI. And everyone knows, oh yeah, cool, it's a 3 liter TDI Audi engine. But now you can see an Audi A6 35 TDI and people think, wait, is that a 3.5 liter engine? No, of course not. It's a 2 liter. <laughs> Makes no sense at all from the naming. It's just some internal marketing logic nobody understands. Nice. Beta flight numbers had the same problem. The numbers were there, but they didn't really tell us how big the update was. And honestly, that confusion is why the new system is so welcome. So. Here's a big change. Betaflight is switching to a calendar-based system. Sounds complicated, but it's actually really simple. The version numbers show when it was released. For example, 2025.12 means December 2025. The next one is 2026.6, so it's June 2026. Super clear. You instantly know how up-to-date your firmware is. No more guesswork, no more decoding version numbers, and this brings three major benefits. First, clarity. You can instantly see when a version was released. Second, a fixed schedule. Two big updates every year. One in June, one in December. That's easy to remember and plan for. And third, Peace of mind, no more guessing if an update was major or minor. You know what's coming and you know when. The developers also introduced a clear release cycle. Right after a release, we enter the alpha phase. That's where new features were added and tested. One month before the next release is beta phase. No new features anymore, just bug fixes and polish. And right before launch, we get the release candidates. Basically, almost final versions that get tested in the wild. Or by you. 
you serious? It's a very logical process and actually makes following beta flight releases much more easier. We get reliable updates on a predictable schedule. If you love testing, you can jump into the betas. <laughs> yeah, boy. If you want stability, you can simply wait for June or December. Okay. And you always get a fresh, stable version, two times a year. Honestly, this approach makes life easier, especially if you fly multiple quads or manage a whole quad fleet. The very first version under this new system will be the 2025.12 so the formerly known Beta Flight 4.6. Then comes 2026.6. Honestly, I think this feels way more modern and makes a lot of more sense. But what do you think? Do you like the new naming system or do you prefer the old one? Drop a comment, hit the subscribe button and until next time, happy flying.